Management by numbers. Few customers trust their car repairers. When you go inside their system, it is easy to see why. Typically, you find that the mechanic who is going to service your car is working on a time-saved bonus. He has a manual which specifies how long it should take to do a job, and if he does it in less time, he earns the job time. What do you suppose he learns to do? Cheat. You find that in that environment, the workers who earn the most money are fit and young. They have been there long enough to learn how to work the system, and consequently, they earn the most when compared to their peers. In one organisation, they decided to get rid of the time-saved bonus and all these high earners disappeared. They thought at first that they had lost their best people. They had not. In an IT factory, the manager was measured on quarterly shipments. At the end of a quarter, £42,000 worth of equipment was ready for a customer, but it was short of a cable. He shipped it to have the number count for him and his department. When this happens, there can be a variety of forms of waste. The engineer arrives to fit the machine and finds he needs a cable. Salespeople intervene. They have the goods shipped elsewhere to avoid being embarrassed. This means double handling and increases the chance of damage. When the product is shipped, an invoice is triggered, so the customer might receive the invoice but not receive the goods. What a crazy way to behave, but at least you make your numbers. Management by numbers is not good for the numbers. Management by numbers makes performance worse.